Columbine here for Touching Gadgets, the most pointless, irreverent, and borderline psychotic gadget review series on the internet. Sweet mother of non-existent tech fairy orgasms, zombies, and dinosaurs! Eventualities of a singularity coincidentally has a nice melody. Time dilation and relativity just skip string theory cause Crummy's gotta pee, I'm out! In the last episode, I had some choice words about Apple's freshly announced iPad Mini. It's wider than the Nexus 7, which makes it a smidge too large to pocket. Its screen is non-retina, which pales in comparison to the Nexus and the iPad the Mini was spawned from. Ah! Pixels! And the price! It is too damn expensive! Which is why I haven't got my hands on it to get a first-hand comparison of the non-retina screen. But my complaint is pretty simple. Apple invented the category of high-resolution screens, offering the new displays as a sole feature worthy of an upgrade. It seems just a little hypocritical critical that Apple would release something without their new trademark feature? Know what I mean? Zombie technology back from the day! As of this moment, right this very second, I take it all back because I've finally gotten my grubby little mitts on Apple's ultra new super secret never before heard of iPad Nano! Oh my... God. The iPad Nano literally fixes all of the problems that came with the iPad Mini that I've never even held in my own hands. Can you believe it? The uh, answer should be no. First, let's be clear. The new Nano is every inch an iPad. It's the full iPad experience in a new Nano form factor. It has a beautiful three and a half inch retina display. And unlike the screen on the Mini, this one really is worthy of an iPad. You literally have to see it with your own eyeballs to appreciate how gorgeous it is. And for everyone who thought that the Mini was too big to pocket, yeah, that was me. This one is perfectly designed to go anywhere, anytime, anyhow, baby! Zombie dinosaur technology! Okay, oh, technically, this is a fourth gen iPod Touch. A brand new refurbed 64 gigabyte iPod Touch. But I had to justify my purchase somehow, so yeah, I'll be calling it the new iPad Nano, okay? Thank you, yeah. Because that is what it is. There's a little bit of a blog on touchinggadgets.com that explains the purchase, so I won't rehash too many of the details. Suffice it to say, I have a problem. I also have 64 gigs of storage at bargain prices! But mostly, I have a problem. After a few short weeks of regular use, I can report that in spite of the better display, the iPad Nano is indeed woefully underpowered. Running iOS 6 while it has full access to the wide world of iOS apps, if more than two or three are left running, things get a little dodgy. Fortunately, that's not what I bought it for. This delightful iPad Nano has the sole purpose of being a media device. Music, podcasts, and videos on the go for when Wi-Fi is not available. For these things, it's a f Champ. And until Apple delivers a Retina iPad Mini, this'll have to do. And now, a new segment I like to call Horrible Comments from a Prior Video. Playing the part of the horrible YouTube commenter will be the venerable Palm Pixie. Because this phone can take it. Up the butt. I've never seen someone so f gay as you. You're a f f kid. Um. Oh, f burned ass. You don't even have a comeback? That's how f lame you are. You've never seen someone so f gay before. Not as f gay as you, you f hard. What, you've never seen Modern Family, or Glee, or a mirror? Wait, what? How old are you? Shut up, you f fucking asshole! Uh, wait, your attached Google Plus profile says you're 12. Oh, the fucking fat gay kid click link, isn't that f precious as all f Dude, you are 12 and you're posting homophobic trash talk on the internet. You are officially what's wrong with the world. Mother f sucker gay all c User blocked. You just wrote my head. <laughs> bargain prices! Bargain prices! Bargain prices! Bargain prices! Oh, bargain prices! But mostly I have a problem.